Postmaster General Louis DeJoy told a House committee today that he was not the one who ordered the changes that have slowed mail processing and delivery over the past few weeks. DeJoy faced roughly six hours of questioning from lawmakers about a host of topics, including the impact of those changes, his campaign contributions to President Trump and other Republicans, and potential conflicts of interest, including a sale of Amazon stock. Let's bring into our conversation California Democratic Congresswoman Jackie Spear, who's a member of both the Oversight and Intelligence Committees. I mean, it's not a game of clue. If it wasn't him, who was it? And why couldn't he answer that? Well, exactly. It's hiding the ball. And he did a fair amount of that today uh, in questioning. And it's pretty obvious that something happened when the search was going on in which they had reduced the number of candidates to 12. And all of a sudden, uh, Mr. DeJoy pops up as a name, and then he ends up getting the job. Uh, his conflicts are so gross, and his um, involvement with the company called Expo, which is one of the contracting companies with the USPS, he was the CEO of the company. He's got between 30 and $70 million in stock in that company, and somehow that's okay. Well, it's not okay, and that's part of what we were trying to um, get out today. And his conflicts, you know, speak to his state of mind, but his behavior has been revealed. There's an internal memo on overtime that my colleague Jeff Bennett has reported on and his predecessor, Mr. Stroman, has attested to in, in public interviews, including one here on Friday. I mean, what is what what is the case he's making to the Oversight Committee about his role in what's happening? Well, in some respects, he is doing this massive change and then pausing for the elections. But this massive change speaks to, uh, I think, unwinding the Postal Service. And that's what I think many of us fear. If his intent is to outsource the sorting function by shutting down all these machines and dismantling them so that it can be outsourced to some third party, that would explain some of his actions. Yeah. And it should cause all of us to be quite concern. Let me play some of his testimony on this area specifically, and we'll talk about it on the other side. Have any plant managers across the country in the U.S. put PS requested mail sorting machines be reconnected? How would I, I, how would I know that? You're in charge. You don't know whether there are, there are plant managers that have requested. Well, let me no, just, I, I let me just. What is the harm in putting these machines, even if the machines in your perspective don't do anything, what is the harm to do and, it till election day? And, and in Washington, to, to, it makes plenty of sense. To me, it makes none. You haven't explained why. And then final question. Because they're you. not needed. That's why. I mean, what is his explanation for the bins that we've all seen of dead chicks and rotting food and overflowing mail, if not the equipment that's been removed and or disconnected? You know, Nicole, I visited the processing center in San Francisco last week. Uh, they are um, understaffed. They have tw 200 openings right now. And as I went through that sorting facility um, and saw those machines in operation, they're able to handle 30,000 pieces of mail an hour. It would take 30 postal workers an entire day to handle one hour worth of sorting done by these machines. And the actual head of maintenance says, you cannot re-plug in those machines unless you get approval from us. Now, for DeJoy to act like he doesn't know anything about it, this is a statement and a notice that went out uh, just a few weeks ago. So this is under his watch. He cannot say it's someone else's responsibility. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.